Hi, I'm Router Bob and welcome to Shop Saver Minutes. In this video, we're going to explore some new gasketing techniques that may make you more efficient with your Shop Saver CNC router. Our flow through fixturing system we developed at Shop Saver CNC is absolute magic. It works great with panel processing. But there are some applications that that approach doesn't work so well. Solid wood is a good example, and also small parts. So the alternative has been to create a dedicated gasketed spool board just for that, and that works fine also. But it's some extra steps involved, and so a technique has been developed by our friends over at All Star CNC Products that's somewhere in between it that should let us hold those parts that are hard to hold without going to the detail of making a, a dedicated fixture. So now Alex and Sean are down at the machine and they're gonna show us this process. Hey everyone, I'm Sean with Shop Saber CNC. I've got Alex here with All Star CNC Products and we've got some gasketing solutions for you. Alex, why don't you tell me about it? Hey Sean, thanks for having us today. So what we do at All Star is improve parts holding on CNC vacuum systems, router vacuum systems and we're gonna show you uh, how we're able to improve parts holding on some particularly challenging parts. Yeah, you know, every once in a while we run into these products where, you know, this one here, we got a rock in it. It's not quite flat. And you've got solutions for that. We've got solutions for small parts that we cut out. That's right, so what we're gonna show you today is the physics behind vacuum clamping, where we create a, well, a chamber, a vacuum chamber underneath the parts and uh, help really hold those parts. And what we've done is we've employed those physics around uh, a very innovative product. This is our patented tile gasket. And we've partnered with Shop Saber to create a kit just for their customers, turnkey kit, uh, that really enhances parts holding. So this tile sheet we're able to use on the entire spoil board. That's right, so uh, what we're gonna show you is a couple of examples of how hard it is to hold the parts and then we're gonna install the kit on the machine and uh, go through some great examples of how we're gonna be able to hold those parts. That sounds great, let's take a look at it. Alex, tell me about what we just watched. Sure, so what you just witnessed was a demonstration of the holding power of vacuum clamping. And what we showed here is a particularly challenging piece where you've got a bow to the material. And you saw that uh, the holding power or the lack thereof uh, using a force meter that we had to show how much force it would take to move this piece. Then we immediately put it on uh, the, the gasket material that's on the table right here, we created a pocket, a vacuum pocket, and that just shows the holding power. And what we've done here is uh, we've created more of a macro approach that we cover the whole table. So we've got our spoil board back here with all these tiles on it. Is that the solution for all these little parts that we're gonna run into? That's right, Sean. Um, this is a great solution. That's a turnkey solution for virtually almost any kind of project you wanna work on. Um, you don't need to create special jigs or uh, any special CAD work in order to, to produce a special part. Um, this is a macro approach. Uh, here we've got some material that's got a textured surface. Uh, we've got some parts with open surface area or even very, very small parts. So uh, the next thing here is why don't we install it on the table and show some examples of how well it can hold. That sounds great. So Sean, as you can see from our tests that we made a dramatic improvement in parts holding, especially challenging parts and small parts. Uh, so we have everything involved in the kit. Uh, it's an easy purchase, easy upgrade for your machine, and we're happy to be in partnership with ShopSaver. Absolutely, you know, my favorite part, being able to nest a whole sheet full of small parts. Right. So thanks for coming out and showing us all this. So if you're interested in something like this, check us out at ShopSaver.com or give us a call. And thanks for watching this ShopSaver Minute. 